Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are um, looking at 10 cozy games that don't have farming. Uh, as I said right here, you've probably heard of these games. Uh, my apologies in advance, but give them a try if you haven't. Um, uh, let's just get started. I don't have a, I don't have a script. All right, so the first one. Oh, is it gonna work? Nope. First one is a little to the left. I just recently finished this. It was the weirdest yet coziest game. I think ever uh, so it's a fun yet challenging puzzle game uh, as you can see in this picture they have you put things in order fix things that are crooked it, it starts off really simple but then it gets challenging so it's like a cozy yet challenging game cozy games can be challenging but whatever it has a lot of re replayability I think I've done three hours so far um, I have completed the quote unquote main story of the game. There's no story, just the, there's chapters. I have completed the main chapters. Uh, I haven't even got half of the achievements. There are 55 achievements. So achievement hunters, ding, ding, ding. These are all PC games, by the way, they may be on Nintendo switch, but I'm just looking at it from a steam standpoint. It has daily puzzles for you to complete on the menu. It just says like daily or something. You click it, you do one puzzle. It's like a brand new puzzle. Uh, similar to ones that you've done just with different items. So I think that's very cool. So literally a lot of replayability, whatever that's uh, whatever I just said. It is $14.99 US dollars on Steam. Uh, I bought it two days ago for roughly $10 on sale. $10, I would pay $10 for it. $15, I'd also pay $15, but I'm more, obviously, everybody wants a sale, but I still think $15 is a fair price. It's all, like, hand-drawn. It's the sound design of the game is really good. It's just very cozy. Good vibe. All right, next one. Sticky Business. Again, these are the, the, the most basics of the basics. You've probably heard of them. Maybe you've played them, but just recommending it, you know? So, Sticky Business. Very cozy very cozy i love it i love it a lot it's a creative game which a lot of games slash a lot of cozy games aren't really creative and they don't hit you on that creative side sticky business really scratch that creative itch that i have uh hours of re replayability i keep writing this word cannot pronounce it uh it is ten dollars has not been on sale to my knowledge but also it is ten dollars it's that's super cheap for like a little indie game as you see here you just create stickers they give you like one items and then you put it together to make stickers and then you actually run a store and there are small little stories of, of characters in the game so there's a there, there's layers to this game and i really like it and for ten dollars super cozy i love it you can play it there's there's oh they have different settings like a calm or a bit harder i like this game i need to replay it next one is unpacking this game needs no introduction if you are anybody you've heard of this game uh unpacking i don't know when it came out it is peak cozy peak cozy uh oh i i wrote that i wrote that it's peak cozy that's funny it's like a puzzle game i don't know how to describe it so like you have bedrooms you start off as like a, i don't want to spoil it you start off as a child right and then you have boxes and you have to unpack and place items if it's in the incorrect spot it'll flash red like meow, meow. and some people are like why can't i put my backpack on the bed but it, it it's it's quite freeing but also like use logic you can't you put a picture frame on your bed i really like the music i love the pixel art i love the art the sound design i watched a live stream there's like thousands of sounds in here if you shake things plop things the sound design is amazing which we'll talk about the sound design in my opinion warrants this price uh it, as i said it's like a puzzle game a story game as well i hate this little bar it has a story i'm not gonna spoil it i love it first time i played it it kind of went over my head but whenever i replayed it i was like hold on wait a minute uh, great soundtrack. I have it purchased. I have it on Spotify. I think last year is in my top Spotify. Cozy, calm game. It's a very cozy, very calm. There's, again, there's also layers to this game. A lot of replayability, in my opinion, uh, for the achievements. And then just, I just like replaying it, right? It's essentially the same thing when you boil it down, but it's fun. I love seeing what I can do different, uh, what I can do the same. 
Um, skip to the next section if you don't want to hear this, but at me, talk about the prices and your thoughts and opinions about some of the backlash the game got because of the price and the time played, etc, etc, blah, blah. People be whiny babies anyway, stay in Luna. So, the normal price, the base price is $19.99, which is kind of expensive for a cozy game. It's, uh, it's no Fay Farm, $49.99, but at the time where cozy games were still kind of new, $20 was kind of like, eesh. I think if you start from start to beginning, no, fr from beginning to end of playing the game, you technically could be done in an hour to two. Um, that's not achievement hunting, just from beginning to end. It could be an hour to two hours. A lot of people were like, for $20, that's what I get. Number one, you're paying for a lot of things. I went to the movies. I saw a two and a half hour movie, the the Songbirds and Snakes, Hunger Games. Ticket came to $16. This game is also two, one to two hours base for $20. Kind of the same, kind of different, but this game, you can keep playing so, so much. But also you're paying for these people to to pay for the, the artists, to pay for the sound people. So in my opinion, $20 is fair. It is fair. I know a lot of people are like, um, I only do $1 per hour. Like, it's whatever you do, it's whatever. But again, small little indie company. The game is great. If you do not like the $20, first of all, don't don't go online and cry about it. But it is currently on sale for $9.99 and like the cozy sale. $10, beautiful price. I personally think the game should have been uh, $14.99 or $15.99. Um, it just doesn't happen. They did it for $20 and it's like, you know what? Okay, I'll, I will pay it and I think it was worth $20 and Achievement Hunting was really fun. I really like the game. It's one of my favorite uh, cozy games. Next one, Coffee Talk 1 and 2. Coffee Talk number one is $12.99. Coffee Talk number two is $14.99. This, this could have been $15. This could have been $20. Um, so it's a visual novel. If you don't like words, I get it. Visual novels... Um, for some people, they're quite rough. I love visual novels. I cannot play them too, too often, uh, back to back to back because the words, it's mind numbing. After college, I, my brain died. It's good as heck. Has a great story. Both of these has a really great story. Um, it's kind of like about society, you know, it's still cozy. You, you are a barista. You can name yourself. I prefer to be barista. You are a barista of this little coffee shop. There are like at least like five to ten storylines going on at once probably not five to ten like yeah like five to ten probably not up to ten whatever you get it i'm just i'm lying it's like five ten no five eight it's like eight we'll say eight there's like eight storylines going on there, there's characters with their own stories their own lives uh you at certain times you have to make coffee obviously you're a barista and coffee talk but based on your coffee choices, it kind of creates like stems in the story. There's a normal, normal ending. There's a good ending. There's a bad ending. There's a true ending. There is a secret story. Once you play the game through, I don't know about this one, but this one, there's a secret story. It gives you more lore. I love it. The story's great. Lovely characters. If you hate some characters, she gets on my nerves sometimes, but if you hate some of the characters, you have more characters. Um, this game, uh, introduces, I think, two new people. I love him. I love him. It's just really good overall. I think these are super fair prices. Um, this is on PlayStation. This is on Nintendo Switch. This is on Steam, Steam Deck. I don't suggest Nintendo Switch. You can. The text is quite small from what I've seen. It could be bigger, but, or maybe I'm thinking of another game. No, you can still do Nintendo Switch. Anyways, yeah, Coffee Talk, I think it's a good price. And for both of them, I think they have deals. I love it. Support the people. Support. 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 All right. Next one. Behind the frame. I went a little crazy with this editing. <laughs> I hope you like it. Behind the frame. Um, I haven't finished the game. I'll be honest. It's it's. It takes me forever to get through games. It is twelve ninety nine. Uh, I suggest it. It is. It has a female protagonist. I know as female gamers, not that we hate playing as male people um also half the time with cozy games you're an animal or like a non-binary child but like this one does have a female protagonist that is her it's a very relaxing game 
it has really nice sound uh, like when you're cooking an egg spoiler you cook an egg it's like and you pour your coffee great sound design very relaxing i like the music um studio i say ghibli studio ghibli vibes uh it has like it's just really like artsy anime e calm looking very good it's like a point and click game it has slight mystery to it but it also has a story and it's also like a puzzle game i really like it very cozy there's no farming 12.99 give it a shot it's probably been on sale but this is the base price which again for me anything under 30 dollars is fair and fine for an indie game i'm paying for the indie label essentially i understand indie games are more expensive i get it if you don't like it give me money all right the next one passparto 2 and then i wrote passparto 2 in parentheses because i can't always read cursive uh passparto 2 it is 24.99 so uh on the higher end i give myself a budget of 30 dollars per games Passparto number one, you could play. It's not, I uh, know it's great. Passparto one is great. It has different layers to it. So it's like depending on the art you make or depending on what happens, you could fail or you could do different branches. Uh, Passparto two completely like revitalizes the game. You, it's a, it's a simulation, heck, a simulation. You end up in this town, you buy a house, you unlock buildings it's like animal crossing where it's like everything's run down and oh you open this shop oh you open this shop oh you help this person open a shop it's really good uh if you're an artist if you're not an artist my art didn't look like that some people's art looks like that i would draw smiley faces and these people would be like wee wee i love it so it's a simulation very casual great music great sound design i love the art i think it's beautiful uh, i think this just recently came out on nintendo switch so i suggest checking it out it's a cute story you draw and paint and ah a lot of replayability because you you yourself are doing the art um again 24.99 it it does go on sale quite often i bought it when it was 15 percent off uh even 24.99 again lots of replayability um i support the devs i'm on their discord as well just sweet people and They've, they've been working hard on this game. I got to play the beta of it. It's it's fantastic. Um, it's just, it's, and you, you, there's a store where you unlock stuff to buy it. You earn coins. If there's a store, I love it. It's just really good. Go support them. Support the game. I think it's really awesome. Donut County. This was really popular a few years ago. Um, I never checked it out because I'll be honest, looking at this, I thought it was a golf game. I'll be completely honest with you, but it also just kind of looked weird. I didn't know what it was about. Um, apparently, you've probably seen this. I'm not on TikTok, um, but you know those games where it has a circle? You've probably seen ads and you put the circle and whatever the circle goes over, it swallows it. So if I put it over the cup, the cup would be swallowed. It's a casual puzzle physics adventure game and it's short. So I really like it. The story is cute. The characters are cute. You're in this little world with animals. You're a human which is not actually a big point of concern, you being the only human. Uh, this is one of the main characters, this raccoon guy. It's $12.99, great price. It probably goes on sale because, again, it's kind of an older game. It is casual. It's a puzzle. Great storytelling. It's like a physics-based, so, like, you just move over and stuff falls into the hole, and it's great. It's really great. And this cute little adventure, it's short, which I am highlighting here because sometimes you just want to play a game that takes like four hours. You just want to sit, play a game to till its fullest and you're done. Um, it's a really cute story. As I said, cute characters, Donut County. Do you guys like this edit? Which one is your favorite? Let me know. Hashtag Canva. Canva girly. This one's kind of different um, for a cozy game. I am only recommending games that I've played. I honestly haven't played a lot of games recently. Um, which is why we have weird games in here. But this one's House Flipper. If you've never heard of House Flipper, essentially you flip houses. It's, uh, you are a person, you start off with your own little house. I think they give it to you for free. I love it. And then you go on your laptop in game. And then there's small tutorials. You go into a house and they're like, hey, 
just knock my knock, knock my walls down. You knock the walls down after you finish, you've unlocked the ability to any house knock down walls. Once you do a bunch of tutorials, technically they're like hidden tutorials, um, then you unlock that ability. And then you can just, with the money you've made through those tutorials, you can buy a house, literally do whatever you want, color it, paint it, knock it down, and then sell it and just rinse and repeat. It's a simulation game. You are God of building a bit of a story mode. It does have like, it's like, so my sister's brother's cousin cheated on my sister's brother's cousin's nephew. Can you destroy and knock down the walls? It's like silly. It's a really silly game. I like it a lot. It does have cockroaches, which you can change into broken glass. If you're not into cockroaches, you go through levels, unlock things, etc. At me, just explain it. I did. I did. It's a really fun game. Hours of content. Super cozy. It has a really good soundtrack, but whenever I play, um, since I've played so much, I've heard all the songs, uh, I mute it and just have the, the, the ambience noises of me like knocking stuff down and I'll just watch a YouTube video while I play or I will listen to music it's just, it's good fun. Good vibes. It's good vibes. Um, Power Wash Simulator. Did I say how much this one was? $24.99. It goes on sale quite often as well. House Slipper 2 is coming out in the next year or two. So if you watch House Slipper, add it to your wish list. You will catch it on sale for $20 or less. $25 is it's great. It has a bunch of DLC as well, like a Sims. As I said, Power Wash Simulator. It's $24.99. It's a really fun game. This is the only picture I picked because this is literally, this literally explains it. The photo to the left pretty much explains it. You start off with dirty things and you just sit there and you just, you power wash it. It's, it's so good. So yeah, it's super casual, very calm. It, it's a cleaning game. It is it is similar to House Flipper, kind of just where like you start off with crap and then you clean it and oh, it's much better. Really, it, I like it. And this is another game that you can turn down the music and listen to your own music on Spotify or whatever. Or you can watch a YouTube video while you play or a podcast. It's just, it's good. It gets that ADHD itch where you're watching something while playing something. It's great. It's just great. I, that's what I said. You'd be cleaning. Throw some music you like. So $25, in my opinion, really great price. I don't know how often it goes on sale. I'd be fine getting it for $20. Can't imagine it would go cheaper, but it's a good game. It's fully flushed out at this point. I, it should be out of early access. The last one, which this is a funny one to add on here, but I truly believe in this being a cozy game. Cozy games don't always have to be calm. Some people, a lot of people actually put Hades, you know that, that hack and slash game? People put Hades as a, as a cozy game. So people can put Hades, I could put Papa's Freezeria HD. Papa's Freezeria is now, is a game from my childhood, but it's now on sale on Steam. I didn't add the price. Hold on. Hold on. It's $5.99 on Steam. Probably won't go on Steam. Blah, blah, blah. probably won't go on sale i don't want it to go on sale support these people it has like 5,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews he dropped papa's freezeria and ducked out he dropped it march 31st 2023 he has franchises it has papa louis games but he only has one game up on his whole thing <clears throat> which means we'll probably get more papa Ria stuff but papa's games are so good Yes, it can get chaotic, but honestly, just like, it's not real life. It does not matter if you get an 80% on the toppings. It, do it doesn't matter. You're just here to have fun, make ice cream, dress up your character. You get to, yeah, you get to dress up your character. You see this freezeria? All yours, baby. You get to decorate it. Animal Crossing, Happy Home Paradise. No, no, no. Papa's Freezeria HD. At me, ad lib it, girl. I did ad lib it. Thanks by your mama. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you have played any of the games, if you like any of the games, if you don't like any of the games. Also, I'm going to have links in the description for the games. They're all, most of them are Humble Bundle links. If you purchase through them, I will get money, which then go back, goes back to me so I can buy games. My voice cracked. Uh, bye. Thanks for watching. I didn't mean for this to be a 19 and a half minute video, but I'm truly blessed to have Canva Pro, you know? <laughs>